All right, everyone, get ready, because today we're going to dive deep into the world of uh, heavy lift rockets. Yeah. Blue Origin is getting ready to launch this massive new rocket they got called New Glenn. That's right. And we're here to give you the rundown on what could be a total game changer in the space industry. Absolutely. Yeah. We've got a recent Space.com article to help us out. So oh, perfect. Let's uh, unpack this thing. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. And it's not just hype, you know. This right? launch is a major move for Blue Origin. For sure. It's putting them in direct competition with SpaceX in the heavy lift market. Okay, so before we get ahead of ourselves. Sure. What exactly IS this new Glenn rocket? Well. Paint me a picture. Think big. Okay. New Glenn is a two-stage behemoth. Okay. Designed to carry these massive payloads into space. Wow. Imagine a rocket with a payload fairing nearly 23 feet wide. 23 feet. That's double the volume of most fairings out there. Wow. And it's also designed for reusability. Okay. Aiming for up to 25 flights per booster, just like SpaceX's Falcon rockets. 23 feet wide. I'm mm -hmm. trying to wrap my head around that. Yeah. That's bigger than my living room. It is. It's huge. So what kind of lifting power are we talking about with a rocket this size? Yeah. What can it actually carry? We're talking serious hauling capacity here. Okay. It can deliver 13 metric tons to geostationary orbit. Okay. And a whopping 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Mm -hmm. So put that in perspective. That's like launching the entire U.S. segment of the International Space Station all at once. Now, that's some serious muscle. I see why they're calling it a heavy lift rocket. It is. But beyond the sheer size, what makes this launch so significant? Well, this launch marks Blue Origin's official entry into the heavy lift market. Yeah. It's a direct challenge to SpaceX, right. which has dominated the sector for years now. Right. So the success of New Glenn could open up a whole new world of possibilities. Okay. Not just for Blue Origin, but for space exploration and commercial ventures as a whole. Think like large scale space telescopes, <laughs> ambitious research missions, and maybe even space tourism. Space tourism on a rocket that size. Now that's a vacation I would sign up for. Definitely. But hold on. Yeah. Our article mentions some mystery surrounding the actual launch date. Right. What's the deal with that? Right, there is a bit of a discrepancy. Okay. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, mm -hmm. issued an alert for a launch window starting January 6th. Okay. However, Blue Origin hasn't publicly confirmed the date, uh -huh. so it's still a bit of a waiting game. So we got this FAA alert pointing to January 6th. Right. But no official word from Blue Origin. Right. When could we realistically expect to see this thing lift off? Well, the FAA alert suggests a potential launch window between January 6th and 12th. Okay. With nearly a four-hour window each day. Okay. So if they stick to the early end of that window, we could see a launch as early as 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 6th. So we might be ringing in the new year with a brand new rocket launch. But hold on, this first flight is just a test, right? Sure. They're not sending up a real payload this time around. That's right. This is a crucial test flight for Blue Origin. Gotcha. They'll be putting New Glenn through its paces, gathering data, and most importantly, attempting to land the first stage on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. <sighs> Landing this massive rocket on a ship, talk about a high stakes maneuver. Oh, for sure. And didn't I read somewhere that they gave the booster and drone ship some pretty interesting names? Yeah. What were those again? Ah, uh, yes. The names. Yeah. The booster is called, so you're telling me there's a chance. Right. And the drone ship is named Jacqueline. Okay. After Jeff Bezos' mother. So you're telling me there's a chance that's a bold choice, especially for a test flight. Yeah. It definitely reflects the ambition. Uh-huh. And maybe even the slight apprehension that comes with such a monumental launch. For sure. But if this first flight isn't carrying a real payload, what exactly will it be carrying? Instead of a customer payload, they'll be launching this hefty payload simulator. Okay. Called the Blue Ring Pathfinder. Okay. And this thing weighs in at a massive 45,000 pounds. Wow. And it's essentially a prototype for their future Blue Ring spacecraft, okay. which will eventually carry customer payloads. A 45,000 pound Pathfinder, it, it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. Yeah. What's the purpose of the simulator? What will it be doing up there? So the Blue Ring Pathfinder is there to collect crucial data okay. and pave the way for future missions. I gotcha. So during the flight, it'll be busy validating communication systems, testing 
in space telemetry and tracking. Okay. Basically ensuring that everything is working as it should before they start sending up valuable payloads. So it's like a dress rehearsal for the real show. Exactly. Like making sure all the systems are go before they start launching satellites and other payloads. Yep. What kind of agreements does Blue Origin have in place for future launches? Mm -hmm. Any big names already signed up? They've already secured some high profile customers. What? NASA has a deal to launch its Escapade Mars probes using New Glenn. Okay. And Amazon is planning to utilize the rocket to deploy their Kuiper Internet satellites. NASA and Amazon. That's a pretty impressive lineup. It sounds like there's a lot of faith in New Glenn's potential. Oh, yeah, there's a ton. Hmm. And it's not just those big names. Right. Companies like AST Space Mobile are also looking to utilize New Glenn for their space to phone communication service. Interesting. Which hints at the wider impact this rocket could have on global connectivity. All right, so we've covered a lot of ground here. You have. We got this massive reusable rocket. Right. A bit of mystery surrounding the launch date. Yep. And a whole bunch of exciting possibilities on the horizon. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens. What does this all mean for the future of Blue Origin and the space industry as a whole? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? It is. The success of New Glenn could be a major turning point for Blue Origin. Okay. It could solidify their position in the commercial space race, mm. potentially even challenging SpaceX's dominance. Challenging SpaceX. Now, that would be a shakeup in the space industry. It'd be huge. What else could we see happening if New Glenn lives up to the hype? Well, the potential is vast. Okay. New Glenn could significantly reduce the cost of accessing space, All right. making it more affordable for a wider range of players, Okay. from small startups to research institutions. Wow. So we could see a boom in space-based industries and scientific research mm -hmm. leading to innovations we haven't even imagined yet. Hmm. So we're not just talking about like launching satellites anymore. We're talking about like a whole new era of space exploration and development. Exactly. It's a whole new ball game. It is a whole new ball game. It is really exciting. Yeah. So it's certainly a possibility. Oh, yeah. And just imagine the impact more affordable access to space right. could have on scientific research. Absolutely. We could see larger and more ambitious missions to study our solar system and beyond. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm thinking about those massive space telescopes we talked about earlier. Yeah. With New Glenn's payload capacity, we could be looking at observatories that dwarf anything we have in orbit today. Easily. What kind of scientific breakthroughs could we see with those kinds of instruments? Oh, man. The potential is mind-boggling. Yeah. We could be talking about unraveling the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Wow. Gaining a deeper understanding of the formation of galaxies. Even searching for signs of life on exoplanets. Signs of life on other planets. Yeah. That's the kind of discovery that would change your understanding of the universe. Completely. And our place within it. For sure. But let's not forget about the practical applications here on Earth. Right. How could New Glenn impact our everyday lives? Well, think about the possibilities for improved communication networks. Okay. Imagine a world with high-speed internet access available everywhere, even in the most remote corners of the globe. Right. New Glenn could help make that a reality by launching constellations of advanced communication satellites. So we're talking about bridging the digital divide. Yeah. Connecting people in ways we've never seen before. Absolutely. And what about advancements in Earth observation? Uh-huh. Could New Glenn help us better understand and address issues like climate change? Absolutely. Huh. With its ability to launch sophisticated Earth observation satellites, mm. New Glenn could provide us with more precise data on things like deforestation rates, rising sea levels, and the impact of pollution. Okay. This information is crucial for developing effective strategies to mitigate climate change and protect our planet. It sounds like New Glenn has the potential to be a real game changer on multiple fronts. Oh, absolutely. But let's be realistic for a moment. Sure. Developing and operating a rocket this powerful and complex must come with its fair share of challenges. You're right. It's not all smooth sailing. Right. Building a reusable rocket of this magnitude is an incredible engineering feat. Yeah. Ensuring its reliability and safety is paramount, mm -hmm. especially when you consider the high value payloads it will be carrying. And those landings. Oh. Can you imagine the precision required to land a rocket the size of New Glenn on a moving drone ship at sea? I know. That has to be one of the biggest challenges they face. It's definitely a major hurdle. Yeah. But beyond the technical challenges, there are also logistical and economic considerations. Like what? 
While Blue Origin will need to streamline their launch operations, keep costs under control, and attract a steady stream of customers to make New Glenn a viable and sustainable business venture. Right, because it's not just about building the rocket, it's about making the whole operation work. Exactly. It sounds like a complex equation with a lot of moving parts. It is. And let's not forget about the competition. Right. How does New Glenn stack up against SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which is already a proven player in the heavy lift market? It's a good question. Yeah. On paper, New Glenn boasts a slightly higher payload capacity to low Earth orbit compared to Falcon Heavy. Okay. But SpaceX has the advantage of experience, right. having already successfully launched several Falcon Heavy missions. So Blue Origin will need to demonstrate that New Glenn can deliver on its promises right. in terms of reliability, cost effectiveness, and schedule adherence. So it's a race to the top with both companies pushing the boundaries of spaceflight technology. Absolutely. It's an exciting time to be following the space industry. It is, and it's not just about the companies involved. Right. The innovations we're seeing today are paving the way for a future where humanity becomes a truly spacefaring civilization. That's a powerful thought. Mm. A future where we're not just visiting space. Right but living and working there. Exactly. Expanding our reach beyond Earth. Yeah. What kind of impact could that have on our species? It could fundamentally change who we are as humans. Wow. Imagine a future where we're mining asteroids for resources, establishing permanent settlements on the moon and Mars, even venturing beyond our solar system to explore other star systems. It sounds like something straight out of science fiction. I know, right? But if we're going to achieve those kinds of goals, yeah. we need to address some of the ethical and social challenges that come with expanding into space. Absolutely. What are some of the things we need to be thinking about as we take these next steps? That's a crucial point. As we venture further into space, we need to carefully consider issues like environmental protection, resource management, and the potential impact on indigenous life should we encounter it. It's like we're writing a new chapter in the story of humanity. Right. And we need to make sure it's a chapter that reflects our values and aspirations. For sure. We need to ensure that space exploration benefits all of humankind, not just a select few. Exactly. We need to approach space exploration with a sense of responsibility and collaboration. Yeah. Working together to create a future where space is a place of peace, discovery, and shared prosperity. A place of peace and shared prosperity. Those are goals worth striving for. Absolutely. Both here on Earth and as we extend our reach into the cosmos. For sure. So as we wrap up this part of our deep dive, yeah. I think it's important to reflect on the incredible progress we've already made in space exploration. It is amazing what we've accomplished. From those first tentative steps on the moon yeah. to the sophisticated robotic explorers roving across Mars, uh -huh. we've come a long way. A long way. And with companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Right. Right. It feels like we're on the cusp of even greater achievements. I agree. The next few decades are going to be a truly remarkable period in the history of space exploration. Absolutely. Who knows what incredible discoveries and advancements await us? The possibilities are truly endless. They are. And that brings us to the final part of our deep dive. Okay. We've explored the capabilities of New Glenn. Right. The challenges and opportunities it presents. Mm -hmm. And the broader implications for the future of space exploration. Yeah. Yeah. But there's one crucial question we haven't addressed yet. And what's that? What does all of this mean for you? We've talked about the potential of New Glenn to revolutionize the space industry, to drive scientific breakthroughs, and even to connect people across the globe. Right. But beyond the facts and figures, mm -hmm. what does this launch mean for you on a personal level? You know, it's fascinating. Yeah. We're living in an era where space travel is becoming more and more accessible. Right. It's no longer the exclusive domain of governments and massive corporations. Mm -hmm. Companies like Blue Origin are opening up the doors for private citizens, entrepreneurs, and researchers to participate in this incredible adventure. It's like that feeling of standing on the shore. Yeah. Looking out at the vast ocean, knowing that there's a whole world out there waiting to be explored. It is the sense of wonder. What opportunities do you see emerging for people like you and me as space travel becomes more commonplace? Well, if we connect this to the bigger picture, yeah? the possibilities are almost limitless. Okay. Imagine a future where you could take a vacation to a space hotel. Experience the thrill of zero gravity 
or even visit a lunar outpost. Really? We could see the rise of space tourism mm -hmm. with companies offering a range of experiences tailored to different interests and budgets. A space vacation, that's something I could definitely get behind. I think a lot of people would. But beyond tourism, yeah. what other avenues could open up for individuals as we move further into this new space age? Think about the potential for entrepreneurship and innovation. Okay. As access to space becomes more affordable. Right. We could see a surge in startups focused on developing new technologies and services related to space travel, satellite deployment, asteroid mining, and more. So basically, yeah. it's a whole new frontier for business and innovation. Exactly. A whole new economy could emerge. This could create a whole new wave of job opportunities and economic growth. It could. And that's something that could benefit everyone. So we're not just talking about astronauts and rocket scientists anymore. No. We could be talking about space architects, space miners, space entrepreneurs. Exactly. The possibilities are endless. I know. It's exciting to think about. But let's not forget about the philosophical implication. Right. Right. What does it mean for humanity as a whole to become a multi-planetary species? This raises an important question about our place in the universe. Mm -hmm. Expanding beyond Earth challenges us to rethink our assumptions about who we are and what our future holds. It's a big question. It is. It compels us to consider the ethical and environmental implications of our actions. Right. To ensure that we're being responsible stewards of this new frontier. Absolutely. It's a huge responsibility. It's almost like a new chapter in human evolution is beginning. Oh, I got an eye. As we venture further into space. Yeah. We're not just exploring new worlds. All right. We're exploring new facets of ourselves. Precisely. And as we wrap up this deep dive into Blue Origin's new Glenn launch. Yeah. I encourage you to keep pondering these questions. Okay. What does space exploration mean to you? What role do you see yourself playing in this unfolding story? We've covered a lot of ground today, from the technical details of New Glenn to the broader implications for the future of humanity. We have. It's been a fascinating discussion. But ultimately, it's up to each of us to decide what this all means and how we want to be a part of it. That's the beauty of it. It's an open invitation to everyone. It's an exciting time to be alive, a time of immense possibilities and profound challenges. I agree. As we continue our journey into the cosmos, let's do so with a sense of wonder, responsibility, and a shared commitment to creating a future that benefits all of humankind. That's a great message to leave our listeners with. So there you have it, a deep dive into the world of Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket and all the possibilities it unlocks. Keep looking up, stay curious, and who knows, maybe one day we'll all be packing our bags for a space vacation. Until next time, keep exploring. Oh.